Welcome to the Rayob program and an overview of the sounding diagram options. This video provides a quick discussion of sounding diagram options. For detailed discussions of each tab, complete with examples, please use this link, which is also presented at the end of this video. And if you are using Rayob version 6.3.1 or greater, you can view the detailed videos just by selecting these new video buttons. The Format tab. There are three diagram types. First is the SKU T log P diagram, which also has a sub option to automatically switch to the amigram for soundings extending above 100 millibars. The amigram diagram, an XY oriented graph, is similar to the Stuve diagram, also has a sub option to remove the temperature grid lines. The tephagram diagram has a sub option reminding the user of the nonlinear isobars of the vertical coordinate. The diagram options section contains nine unique options. The stability bars produce a graphical representation of the sounding's lapse rates. The height scale is displayed in kilometers and feet. The wind plot box permits plotting of the sounding's wind data. The draw surface line indicates the position of the surface point, plus lists the station elevation, altimeter, and density altitude values. The display elevation layer produces a ground simulation region for vertical perspective. The always draw 925, 850, 250, and 150 millibar pressure lines applies to the vertical coordinate labels. The analyses box option produces this region for parameter line graphing and this is the narrow view, while the wide or sounding gram view only works if you have a widescreen monitor. The cursor data section provides two options. The parcel option displays values for the data points along the sounding profile, while the diagram option continually reflects values of the mouse cursor over the diagram. The heights option allows MSL or AGL height scale labels. In the UVW Wind Diagram option section is a unique set of options which allow graphic display of the U, V, and W components of wind values. The Pressure and Temperature tab. These options control the X and Y axis labels. The Pressure and Height section permits specification of the upper and lower boundaries of the sounding diagram, or let Rayab automatically adjust the diagram for each plotted sounding. The grid section allows four modes for the vertical coordinate, millibars, kilometers, feet, and miles. It also has an option for automatic grid spacing or one for higher density gridding. The temperature section applies to the x-axis labels, where the grid section offers Celsius or Fahrenheit scales in addition to a dual scale mode. The interval section allows 10 degree or 1 degree grid spacing. And the scaling section allows automatic or manual temperature adjustments. The Adibats tab. Here you can specify how the dry Adibats, saturation Adibats, and the saturation mixing ratios are drawn. You can specify color, style, the density of the plotted lines, and an option for numeric labeling. You can even draw a special line for each line type where the user specifies the exact value to be drawn. The Sounding Data tab. Here you can plot the sounding data points with dots and even draw small circles around them if needed. In here you have nine thickness options. You can even turn off the dew point profile or draw it with a dashed line or a solid line. With this option, Rayab will print the small letter M for missing dew point values. This section allows the user to specify the color for the temperature, dew point, lifted parcel, web bulb, frost point, and virtual temperature profiles. With respect to wind plots, you have options to draw them using shafts and or dots. For the wind display section, you can plot them with either shafts and feathers or with variable shafts. And finally, you can specify whether the wind plots will be displayed in knots or meters per second units. The Analyses Data tab. Here you can select between the Classic Displays option or customize the data listing with this Custom Data Display option, which has its own video. 
This Heights option specifies which mode to use for parameters in the displayed data listings. The Units option specifies metric or English units, such as centimeters versus inches for hail diameter. And the Potential Temperature Equivalent Potential Temperature Unit section allows specification of Kelvin or Celsius units. The Hodograph tab. This tab of options applies to the mini hodograph which is inserted into the sounding diagram. The mini hodograph can be plotted in the upper left corner, or the upper right corner, or even the right screen location which is only available if you are using a widescreen monitor. The remaining options for axis origin, scaling, range, and data mode are best seen using this tab's separate video. The Displays tab. This option will display the sounding title immediately above the sounding diagram. The Standard Atmosphere option permits plotting of the IKO International Standard Atmosphere as reference profiles. The Logo Display options permit the user to display any image on the sounding diagram screen. The Height Lines tab. Here you can specify up to three unique horizontal height lines, where you can specify line type, color, labels, units in feet or meters, and an AGL versus MSL mode option. The Temperature Lines tab. Here you can specify up to three unique temperature lines, where you can specify line type, color, labels, or even plot the lines in a horizontal or vertical orientation. That completes the overview of the sounding diagram options. For detailed discussions of each tab, please view their individual tab videos.